former chief executive officer of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation. Uh, he admits rejecting the pardon was a risky path to take. He was ready to pursue justice. He spoke in an exclusive interview with TV3. Why do you think that the executive at the time wanted you in jail at all costs if, if there was no reason you know, to pursue that path? I think you need to ask them that question, but I, I'm sure you understand the political situation. A new government had come into power. They were carrying on a propaganda war against the previous government under President Rawlings and people like me who were seen as associated with President Rawlings, you know, were targets. I'm sure you recall that history. So right. um, in that context, I, 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 I suppose they, they needed some uh, people to use as scapegoats. Mm -hmm. And I happen to be one of those. So you described the former president's kind gesture of giving you presidential pardon as the height of hypocrisy. Why did you resort to these words to describe what was supposed to be a pardon? As I wrote in the letter to President Kufo, my quest was for justice. It was not for his mercy. Mm. I, I had no need for his mercy or his favor. I was seeking justice. And he knew at the time that I had appealed. I appealed the very day that I was sentenced to prison. And he clearly had been following issues in my case from the beginning. So he knew that, you know, my quest was to have my appeal heard and to be vindicated, to have my convictions set aside. That was important for me because mm. I knew I was innocent. So and I was not going to allow... Some have said that it was a very risky path, that an, an option that you took because rejecting a presidential pardon, how about and going for appeal? You know, how about if you, have, you had lost the appeal? I was prepared to take that risk. And I was prepared to take that risk because I knew how outrageous what had happened on June 18th was.